This Curcio reflection is based on the Mass readings for Friday, June 30th. It's not over yet. This year, I had one of those milestone birthdays. I turned 70 in February. Since then, I find myself reflecting on how, when I was still in my 60s, there still seemed to be a long horizon out there for me with plenty of time to do those things I want to do or need to do. Maybe even luxury of being able to occasionally waste a little time. And then 70 struck, and suddenly it seemed my horizon had collapsed in front of my eyes. Now, if there is something I want to or need to do, I better get cracking. There is no more time to waste. And that's not the worst of it. This turning 70 comes with a double whammy. Not only is my time horizon shrinking, so are my energy levels. My energy and enthusiasm to tackle new tasks, or any task for that matter, just isn't what it used to be. Now, if you'll indulge me just a little longer in this pity party, I will tell you my even deeper anxiety. That, in the eyes of the world, and even myself, my relevance in this world is dimming. Then, in the midst of these dark, depressing ruminations, God decided to send me a pick-me-up. This week at Mass, we are reading from the book of Genesis and God's plan for Abraham. Earlier this week, we read the story of Abraham's call at the age of 75. At 75, God uprooted Abraham from a settled and prosperous life and sent him on the greatest adventure of his life. Pack up, Abraham, and go where I send you. No AAA triptych, no GPS for Abraham, just go. And Abraham picked up and went. Then well into his great adventure, Abraham is now 99, and God has a word for him. Walk in God's presence and be blameless, and there will be blessing all around. The number one blessing? Abraham and Sarah will have a son. Abraham and Sarah had to chuckle at God's idea of a blessing for them. Abraham a father at 100, and Sarah a mother at 90? Listening to the Word of God has made me feel considerably better about my turning 70. God had a plan and blessings in store for Abraham and Sarah that didn't really kick in until he, Abraham, turned 75 and didn't culminate until he was 100. Compared to Abraham, I'm still a young man. And compared to Sarah, Jenny is a young woman. Who knows what God has yet in store for us, but whatever it is, we know it will be good. All I have to say is, God, please don't make us laugh. De Coloris, your brother in Christ, Joe Sosnowski.